This is Rebecca Tatila with the Rumble Hut Institute, and I'm so glad you're here today because you know what? We want to talk about how to make aromatherapy inhalers. So aroma inhalers is so easy to do, and it really is just really enjoying the benefits and enhancements of uh, essential oils. So what we're gonna be doing is making three products today. This is something that we do in our course for certification in level two, because when you're talking about the respiratory system, of course, inhaling the oils is one of the best benefits, and one of the best ways to get them into your bloodstream and into your body. So really, this is so easy. We're gonna just use some of these um, products. This is a plastic one. But this is the actual inhaler. So you have the cover, the actual inhaler, the wick, and then you have the cap or the butt of the inhaler. These are available on Amazon. I'll share a link below for you to be able to get those. Now, if you like the fancier ones, then of course you can get these that look almost like a lipstick tube, which you would use a, a very, very small pipette to get your oils into this, or actually could open it up Put your cotton wick down in that and have the oils in there. Now, I, it's just a fun way to carry these oils with you and use them because that way, when you get to use these oils, you're not sharing it with the rest of the world. It's only for your benefit and it's your personal space that is actually going to be smelling these oils. So let's look at three different recipes I want to use. In, you do not need a carrier oil for this. You only need to use essential oils. So the first one I wanna make is an immunity booster. Now I'm gonna be cheating a little bit because I'm gonna be using a aroma inhaler uh, kit that I purchased at aromatools.com and they have the little stickers and things. So we're gonna put this right on the cap, right on the cover, and that way you won't forget what it is. And usually when you make these up, you can carry them with you for quite a long time. If you, you know, keep them out of the heat and maybe in your purse and such, they'll last up to a year. I've had them last that long. Okay, so we're gonna be using the oils in here, using them, putting in a bowl. This particular recipe, uh, recipe sorry, I can't talk, can I? Um, is four drops of eucalyptus. So we're just gonna add those right in here. One, two, three, four. And it's okay if you add an extra drop. We need four drops of lavender. One, two, three, four. Again, it's all right if you add a little more, a little less. And we're gonna also be putting in four drops of lemon. One, two, three, four. And lemon is very thin, so it comes out fast. Now, this one is uh, melaleuca or tea tree. So we're gonna add three drops. One, two, three. Now, for our inhaler, we usually use around maybe 15 to 18 drops of oil. You can add a little more if you like. So we're gonna drop our wick in the bowl and just absorb those oils right in it. Just get them to soak it up. And just sort of scrub it around. Now we're gonna be taking this and dropping it right inside. Oops! <laughs> That's what happens when you drink wine when making aromatherapy products. Okay, so we're gonna put our cap on and just get that to go in there and put our cover on like this. Okay, so this is something that you can carry in your purse. This one is the immunity bus, uh, booster. So you just inhale it. You actually can close one side of your nostril, inhale deeply maybe close the other side and just take a deep breath and then breathe it in so that you can open up your passageways, help support your immune system during the cold and flu season. Okay, let's try another one. Now this one is an aromatherapy blend for motion sickness or if you have any kind of queasiness or feel a little nauseous. So this one's gonna be for motion. So we call it motion ease. So again, we're gonna take another diffuser out. I had these packaged up for our class because I like to have them all ready for them to go. When we do in-person training, we like to have everything ready for them. You can purchase your own for making them at home though. 
So let's see, this one is going to be coriander. We're gonna be using coriander, uh, fennel, so that should be interesting. Ginger, okay. And let's see what else, peppermint. Let's do peppermint, okay. And let's see what else. Well, that's good enough. Let's just go with those four oils, okay? So let's see how many do we want. Uh, let's do three drops of coriander. Let me get another bowl here. So we do one, two, three, okay. And let's do our fennel. Let's see, we will need three drops. Two, three. We like to use fennel in cooking. And the three drops of ginger. One, two, three. Now this was a recipe that was already done, but we can make our own. We can add less or add something different if we don't like those fragrances. And this one's peppermint. And this one is six drops. Three, four, five, six. So if you have a stir rod, a glass stir rod, or something you want to stir it up or mix up your oils together so you can blend them, you want to check the fragrance, make sure you like it because you might want to add something else, maybe a little bit more of something. We'll go ahead and get our wick and soak it up and get it to absorb all the oils. And then we're just going to take their inhaler and drop this right in. Okay, again, we're just going to put the cap on and seal this up. And let's go ahead and... <laughs> it fell apart, Mark. Oops. Okay, we're going to put the cap on. You got to make sure you get the cap on. And let's add our label. All right, so uh, this is when you feel like the room is the uh, Titanic, okay? <laughs> so you're gonna take a deep breath, inhale. Ah, that's so nice. It actually is nice uh, fragrance if you feel a little unsettled in your stomach, had a little too much wine. <laughs> Love this one. This is one you need to carry in your purse, especially if you're traveling, you definitely wanna have that with you. All right, let's do one more. And this one is for soothing those seasonal allergies, okay? So let me get a clean bowl. Let's go ahead and see what we can use with that one. So I think we're gonna use lavender. We're gonna do our peppermint. And let's also do lemon for this one, okay? So we're gonna use our fuser, uh, inhaler again. Uh, yeah, you know what, if you don't have this particular um, inhaler, you can also use it as a diffuser blend. So you could do it at home as well. All right, so let's see. We want to add six drops of lavender. One, two, three, four, five, six. And six drops of lemon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Was that seven? Did you count? And three drops of peppermint. Now, one, two, three. Okay. So we're in Florida, so we really do go through a lot of this um, in the fall season when the trees are changing a lot of the, you know, you start to feel the symptoms of uh, allergies and this is a great one to have. And you know, just diffusing in your home helps a lot. But for children going to school or college kids, they can take this with them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just drop this in and cap it off. It's going in a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get our label. This one is called Seasonal Soothe. Okay, and we're gonna have the recipes for you so you can get those on the bottom in the description of this video so you can watch it. Now that's pretty simple. Of course you can change it and adjust it as you like. Um, I have um, 
other recipes for you and according to the body systems we have a lot of ways for you to make your own blends in my book therapeutic blending with essential which will show you how to make blends for over 170 common ailments so you can make a zillion of these for all kinds of things using all your own oils so one of the wonderful things about this is that if you are missing let's say eucalyptus you could substitute it with another oil based on our uh, matrix here so that's the beauty of this book helping you to say oh shoot i don't have this one well you can use another oil and still gain the benefits of that particular uh, blend i hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you would Please subscribe to our channel so you can watch more informative videos like this one and visit us at aromahut.com if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching.